Hey guys, so thank you guys for watching another video. I am going to be showing you guys a new look. Um, I hope you guys like it. I had fun making this look actually. Um, I'm just cleaning up my brows, um, the Anastasia brow um, pomade, my oldie but goodie, and then I'm also using the Born This Way concealer in the shade Sand. This is my all-time favorite concealer, y'all know that. So I couldn't decide which foundation to use. On this day, I had a lot of time to just play with different makeup. Um, actually foundation sorry and this is right after I recorded my previous Il Maquillage video and I just wanted to kind of compare the Il Maquillage color to uh, three of my other favorite foundations I just wanted to see how much of a color difference it was and it was surprisingly very different um, so right here you see me putting on the Il Maquillage in the color 170 um, I'm just trying to blend it out as much as I can. I'm trying to blend it out just so you guys can see. This is the MAC NC46 that I'm putting on. As you guys can see, MAC NC46 always is going to be my skin shade. When it's not the summer months, NC45 is always my perfect match. As you guys can see, it's the perfect undertone, perfect color. Here is the Maybelline 330 Toffee. I haven't worn this one in a while, but I just really wanted to compare it to um, the Il Maquillage because I knew it was going to be just a tiny bit, maybe like a few shades close to it. Because this one is the one that I would usually use um, in between summer and winter months as well because it's not too bright um, and then it's also not too dark. It's actually perfect. Um, next is the Too Faced Born This Way Maple. This is also my summer shade, but I was surprised to see you guys. Do you see that? It is like not even close to the Il Maquillage. And I'm not for sure what Il Maquillage has in their foundation, but I swear whenever I blend out that um, color 170, it matches my skin tone to the T. Just minus, it's just maybe like a hint shade um, darker. I really love how I was able to compare all of my four best foundations that I'm still in love with. And as you guys can see, these are all four. And I just wanted to show with the bottles up next to my face just to give you guys another look at what foundations that I put on. And of course, I chose to go with Il Maquillage just because I wanted to see how well it still blended with my skin tone um, because that first time I wore it I was still in a lot of shock I just could not believe that it was a little bit darker than my skin tone but then once I blended it out it blended so well this is the Too Faced hangover primer that I'm putting on this is a Too Faced hangover primer that I just put on I'm using my fan just to dry it down a lot quicker because as usual I was in a rush to go somewhere so I did want that to kind of dry down a little bit. Actually not dry down, just to get it tacky um, underneath my foundation. I absolutely love this under my foundation. Um, the Il Maquillage Pump, I don't really care for that much, but I, I just, you know, use it as best I can. I try to mostly pump the foundation on my hand, not my face, because it does pump out a lot. So you actually don't even need that much foundation when you're using this because one pump will literally go a long way. But I like to go in with a lot because I really like to have a full coverage look. I don't like to go in with as many um, layers. I like to just pump a lot on and blend it all in. And then go behind it with my sponge to kind of just blend it out. But do you guys see this? Do y'all see how this foundation just blends so perfectly with my skin? It's a tad bit darker like I said. But it makes it so easy to blend it's so smooth so creamy and i really love it it doesn't leave that matte finish um and i just really love that it just looks like natural skin this is amazing i love it i, just, I was still in shock so i'm just going in above my brows and just cleaning it up i love how that makes my foundation look more polished when I do this, that's why I love to do my brows um, first because I can go in and clean up around it and make it look more like, you know, crisp. 
and it really ties together my makeup look really well i do sometimes have to go in and clean up my brows a little bit more with just my spoolie um the brush side but i just did it i was y'all y'all see this i was just so shocked i was like you know what let me continue going on with putting on my foundation so i'm just going back in around my mouth area and just kind of making it look more darker around there because not darker but just more coverage because um i do need a lot of coverage around my mouth area so now i'm going in with my favorite concealer you guys know it's the Too faced born this way sand this is my perfect undertone um concealer and i really love it i actually need to stop being lazy and go to sephora and get more because i'm literally down to the end so this is just a um, makeup sponge that I got off of Amazon. They actually sell this brand. I think it's called Sonia. I'll link it down below what um, sponge this is. But I really love it because it's huge and it can really get large areas. I actually have some smaller ones to get in those precise areas like my nose. I just not haven't broke it out of the, I just haven't broke it out of the package yet. So that's why you guys haven't seen me use it on the video, but I think I'm going to use those on my next video. But I really love this over the Beauty Blender actually. It's cheaper, it's big, and it does the job so well. I love it. So I'm going in with this e.l.f. um concealer that i'm going to be using as a bronzer this elf concealer is the perfect shade for contouring i really love it it makes me have like a really natural finish and it's not too dark so here you see me going in with fenty truffle just to bring out my contour just a little bit more and i don't like using truffle alone anymore because it can look really harsh i like putting it on top of a concealer that i put on and this is the way i've been doing it here lately and it helps me to be able to blend it a whole lot better So that I don't have any harsh lines, I'm just going to really go through and blend this up very well. Like I said, that truffle can be a little harsh. So I always would recommend putting it with a concealer to contour it um, because it'll just help just kind of darken it up a little bit more, but then also allow you to blend it very well. So. This brush right here, you guys, from Morphe, I really love this brush. I will link it down below. It is the perfect brush for contouring your nose. Like, I swear, it's very dense and it's flat top. So, like, it really allows you to go in. It's not too flat on the tip, but it is a little bit round. And I'm just going back in to blend around that contour to help get rid of any harsh lines that I formed. And then I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape, and this is the color Sand. Um, I did want a little bit more brightness, so that's the only reason why I put that there. And then I'm just mixing it a little bit with the um, Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Um, this is the color Beige, I believe. Um, if I'm wrong, I'll link it down below. I want it to be a little bit more bright in my highlighted areas where I put the concealer. So that's why I went in with a lighter shade of the Too Faced Born This Way mixed with a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape. And I did notice I went in too bright, y'all. I was concealer happy. And um, I realized that after I had already started blending it. But it's okay because you can fix that just by going in and setting it with a darker setting powder um to even that out so that it's not so bright um but you just got to be careful because if you put a too much of a dark um setting powder then you'll feel like you need to go back in with concealer but then once you set it that's it you cannot go back in 
unless you redo your whole makeup in my opinion <laughs> otherwise you'll be looking very cakey so i'm just going in over my nose contour a little bit more because i didn't want it to look too dark and have any harsh lines so that's why I went in with that. Did I tell y'all how much I love this sponge? I love it. I always would recommend going back in with a brush whenever you put it on your contour and your concealer. Just to help make everything look a lot more smoother and blend it out. So that you can get rid of harsh lines. This is my um, MAC NC45 Select Sheer Press Powder. I love going over my highlighted concealer areas um, if I feel like it's too bright because it kind of helps tone it down a little bit, but it doesn't take away the brightness. So if you have like a Select Sheer Powder that's good for setting, but it's uh, maybe a shade or two lighter than your skin tone, I would really highly recommend putting that down first before you do setting powder. That's just how I've been doing it here lately because I don't like that really bright concealer highlighted look on my face anymore. I really like for it to just look like a natural highlight from like just lighting, you know? So I'm just going in a little bit with this um, Maybelline um, setting powder and it's a darker tone so that I, I kind of want it to look more bronze and I feel like it was a little washed out. Um, from all the concealer that I put on so that's why you guys see me go in with another contour shade I'm going in with my morphe setting powder and just making it all look even in one tone um, and I will link all the products that I'm using down below in the description box so you guys can see. So this is what I meant earlier when I said I have to sometimes still go back in with my spoolie and fix my conceal my eyebrows. So this is a very, very gorgeous dupe to the Shayla and ColourPop um, Construct blush that they did together and it's the Maybelline blush I will link it down below like I said I was not prepared with the things in front of me when I was doing this voiceover um, but I got y'all um, this is the rum um, match sticks from Fenty and I really missed using it too I really love the natural glow going back in with this morphe palette um, I used this on another video that you guys will see here soon um, but I'm just going in with a really natural transition shade for my eyeshadow that I'm going to use. I'm not going to use nothing really too particular. I just wanted a little, you know, natural but glam look. And it's going to be so natural, guys. Like, I am all for this natural, natural um, foundation looks. Like, I really have trying to been... Um, I really have been trying to lean more towards those kind of looks versus the harsh contour snatched, you know, those kind of looks that I was into before because I really just want to look subtle and just smooth and poreless, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I hope I'm making sense, but I'm just using these two colors together, just like a reddish orange color with a, um, a reddish orange highlighter a real a reddish orange shadow color with a tan transition shade that I'm just going in with this light um, beige color just to make me look have look like a natural cut crease um, y'all just something cute and simple I told you I wanted to just have like a soft natural glam so this was my idea of that I hope you guys can see where I'm trying to go <laughs> Sometimes I'll be thinking I'm having a certain look that I want, but then I'll be looking a whole lot different. So, but you guys, please let me know down below per usual. I'm just going in with this till I get it to the color that I wanted. So I just went in with different kind of, I just went in with different shades of it and just piling it on. And um, if I would have used a concealer on my eyelid prior to doing this, I probably would have got the exact glam cut crease look that I was looking for. But like I said, I wanted this to be natural. And I felt like if I would have used a concealer, it would have looked too harsh. You know, like not harsh, but too glam for what I was looking for. I didn't really want a crisp glam. 
So now I'm going to go in with um, this color on the Jaclyn Hill palette for my brow bone to kind of brighten that up a little bit. Using Kilowatt Fenty um, Afternoon Snack Mo Honey in my crease, in my, um, in my eye, your inner eye corner, y'all. I'm forgetting all these makeup terms. I, I have not been doing makeup like I used to, and so I've been forgetting all the terminology. But y'all see what I'm doing. I am just using it to highlight um, areas in my face. So you guys get it. My nose, my cheekbones, my inner eye, um, all that. Just cleaning it up really well before I go in and spray my face I always have to make sure that my eyebrows are on point y'all eyebrows make or break your makeup look and voila here it is the finished look guys my hair did not do what I wanted it to do I know I'm always saying I'm having a bad hair day but literally my hair did not do what I wanted it to do my hair in the front is really really long so I had to use a bobby pin to kind of pull it back a little bit to give me a fake bang you know um so and my bang just did not come out the way I needed it to Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm going to do a little quick photo shoot with me feeling myself. And until next time, I love you guys. And I will see y'all in my next video. Please subscribe if you got this far and you enjoyed this look.